Mr. Garg, hold that thought. Hold that thought because you have raised a very pertinent issue and I am going to toss it to uh, Dr. Baru immediately. Dr. Baru, the headline number of 10 lakh crores enthuses the market a lot. But what Mr. Garg is saying is that if you look at the fine print, maybe all of that is not real capex in that sense. Some of it is substitutions and therefore the net impact on the investment cycle will not be that salutary. Do you buy that? You see, then, uh, first thing what one has to recognize is the fact that, you know, the finance minister said in a budget speech of February 2022 that the government is stepping in with public investment in the hope of kicking in private investment. Because mm -hmm. we have had what I have described uh, in, in my writings as a capital strike. We all know about labor strike where workers don't work. We have had a capital strike in this country where business has not been invested. Private corporate investment has not been picking up. So the whole strategy as announced in the February 2022 budget was to use public investment to kick in private investment. And if you look at the increase in public expenditure as given in the revised estimates in this budget, a large part has been in revenue uh, expenditure and some of it has been capital expenditure. So the question to be asked is, why is the private sector not adequately enthusiastic? Now, even, I, you know, Mr. Garg is the best person to talk about the credibility of this number, so I'm not going to question him on, on, the, on his analysis of the numbers. Take it that, you know, he has a good understanding of these numbers. He's been on the other side uh, of budget making. But the point is, for a whole year, we have not seen an increase in capital. I remember in the past on budget day, the, you know, the media would immediately look at the reaction of the stock market to tell, tell us, I mean, I was uh, for some time in government, to say that, look, the, the markets have done thumbs down or thumbs up to the budget. And today we are being told the markets have nothing to do with the budget. The market reaction is about Adani and not about the budget. I think the markets understand something. And, and, and I think the understanding is, that what has been done is not adequate. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, Dr. Baru, let me, let me get a person from the no, market and industry. No, don't, 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 don't interrupt me like this. When you get me on a show, listen to what I'm saying. Finish no, off. That's why I don't come on television these days. Okay. So I think there is a question about the credibility of these numbers and there are questions in the market. Agreement. And therefore, we have to wait and watch whether private investment will pick up. Now, public investment is, is in the hands of the government. They have, they have sustained a 6% fiscal deficit for three years. This again, you know, used to be a mantra in the past. Anything about 3.5%, all of us in the media used to criticize the government. Today, 6% of, you know, fiscal deficit, you know, you say it's part of the course. So the government is doing its bit trying to spend. But the real question for Indian economy today is, is the private sector ready to you know, come and increase investment without demand picking up. Last three years, growth of growth has been 3%. 3% average annual GDP growth in the last three years. Now you go ahead. Okay. Madhu, respond to this. This is really a point because, you know, even banker after banker is telling us that private sector capex is not what it used to be in the go-go years of 2004 to 2007. Despite all the inducements and the crowding in effort which the government is purportedly doing, what is holding back private investment? Because we do need private sector to kick in for a proper investment cycle, right? Madhu? Yeah. Hello, Udyan. That was for you. Why is private sector not investing despite all that the government is doing? The point Dr. Yeah. Badu is raising. No, uh, Udyan, I think first of all, we need to look in a, in a historical perspective the quality of private investment which went in between 2000, maybe uh, 5 and 2015, you know, and you have seen the repercussion of that, you know, there's such large amount of NPLs which happened, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, uh, I gave you this number last time when we were discussing, 17 lakh crore rupees of aggregate provision between private and public sector banks were being undertaken in the last, you know, three, four years to clean up the whole banking system. So it is not actually apple to apple comparison if you take it from the past to what is happening today. That is point number one. Second point number two, within people who we are speaking to, 
and there is a clearly a green suit in the private sector uh, investment side the corporate balance sheets are are deleveraged and i am quite hopeful that you know the private investment side will pick up in the, in due course of time so uh, and on the on the capex point uh, you know while we need to go and analyze these numbers more but even if you take away you know some number which would be which will be duplicate is still i think the government has delivered on the on the capex side more than what the market was expecting